Okay, I'm going to show you how to export a video from QuickTime to email someone. I have a real simple video here. However, it's long. It's, uh, oh, it's only a minute long. It's not too bad. And you come up here, you hit export. Down here, you want a QuickTime movie. And I'm going to want Broadband High. I'm going to rename the movie. I'm going to put an E after this for email. In other words, it's going to try to write over the same movie. And I'm going to select where I want this, and I'm going to want it in my... There's a folder it came out of. So it's an amped movie. We're going to call it E. But before I hit Save, I'm going to click on Options, and I'm going to click on Settings. I want H.264. Because we picked Broadband, it's going to be 672. There's a couple changes we can make here. If you're going to send the final movie to a client, you click on Best so it does two passes. This will take a long time, probably two and a half minutes per minute. If you're just going to send a, a video for someone to view and it's not the final project, hit Faster Encode. It will save an enormous amount of time. So that's what I do. That's number one. Number two is the size. It wants to make it small like this. I like to uh, make it... Um, 720 by 480, it's 16.9. And your other choice, if you have 16 by 9, would be 640 by 270, that's 16.9. But you can also just say, here's what I want. I want NTSC 16.9. Uh, D interlace video, because you're working in a progressive in Final Cut Pro, hit OK. And the only other thing you do is turn off internet streaming. That just crushes the header for a faster start. We don't need that. Then click OK. And the name is changed again. Now I name it E. So it comes in here, or you could put a space for email. And it'll be much smaller than the original uh, Amped movie, because instead of a full-size movie, it'll be uh, a nice small movie you can email. And you hit Save, and that's the way it goes. Okay, thanks. Bye.